If I could take you up in paradise up above If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream, sweetheart Hello, hello again Okay, this is officially a problem now. This box contains all of the clothes I own all of them and they fit in this little box. I've been getting a lot of comments on my main channel saying things like bro never changes clothes Bro only wears hoodies. I can't argue with that. I do wear hoodies a lot. I just like hoodies The only problem is that I only have like four that I just wear on rotation But what makes matters worse is that I'm gonna be traveling a lot soon to a bunch of different events where I have to look presentable So I need to get some new clothes desperately Shaboom shaboom we're in the mall. I'm not sure what store to go to. There's so many different stores here. There's literally an arcade behind me. That would be fun. There's no clothes in there though. But let's check out some of our options here. I'm gonna be honest guys. I walked in there with literally no plan. I didn't have a list for the clothes I wanted to buy. I just was gonna go in there and see what happened. The first store I ended up going to is a place called PacSun. Now I had found some clothes that I had really liked here before so I decided to go back and give it another chance. The first thing I decided to check out was their t-shirt selection and to be honest a lot of these are just a little too much for my liking personally. They did have this F1 t-shirt that was extremely overpriced so I ended up not getting it. The main thing I'm looking for are some clothes that I can just throw on in the summer and not think too much about something pretty simple i don't know i literally have no clue about clothes that just sounds right to me so i found a couple of things i wanted to try on and then headed to the fitting room this is the shirt i was thinking about getting i think it looks pretty cool perfect for summer possibly i am the worst shopper on planet earth i was in there for 15 minutes 15 minutes i went into the dressing room to try them on and while i was trying them on this little transmitter thing for my microphone was in my pocket it fell out of my pocket and slid into the stall next to me where this girl was trying on clothes the bad part about that was that this screen was on and this little level is going on because my microphone i had it on me so imagine being that girl being in the change room you're talking to your friend in the next stall this thing slides under the door and it has an audio level on it you think you're being recorded so i was like i'm sorry that's mine and she's just like slid it awkwardly back into my stall so i got out of there i walked to the register as fast as possible and bought this. If you are those girls watching this, I'm sorry. I was not trying to record you. We could go with the Hasbulla t-shirt. That's crazy. I like these pants. And look at this hoodie as well. It has a little tag in the front and then the back. Look at the back. The Met. Actually kind of nice. I have to say, having my sister there helped so much because it was so nice to get a second opinion on what I should buy and what I shouldn't. We walked around the store a little bit and picked up a few things here and there that I was going to try on in the fitting room. My favorite thing I found is probably this Met hoodie. It's just so comfortable and I love the text on the back. And guys, yes, I know I'm buying a hoodie right before it's about to be summer, but it was on sale. So I had to get it. I realized while editing this video, I never ended up showing you guys what I got. So let me do that. I bought socks from Walmart. Here's the Met hoodie. It's so high quality. We got the back and I like that it's not just blank on the front. It got this little, it has this little tag here. We got these nice white cargo pants. I am a sucker for cargo pants. I wear them all the time. We got an LA shirt for when I'm in LA. My sister recommended this. This is like a simple kind of olive green shirt, a little bit lighter, wear it with some shorts on a summer day. Perfect. And this is something I never thought I would really wear. I don't know what kind of cloth this is. You're supposed to wear this over a t-shirt. Kind of a beachy formal look. I don't know. The total was $200.45. I'm pretty sure that's the most I've ever spent on clothes besides like buying my suit for winter formal. But I think it's worth it because these clothes are pretty high quality. So they'll last a while. Speaking of lasting a while, I somehow drove 20,000 miles on my Nissan Versa without doing an oil change. I totally forgot. This is when I was supposed to get an oil change. 88,000 miles this is how many miles I have now. That is not good. I just totally forgot about it. So we're gonna go get an oil change right now. All right, and you can turn the car off. And okay. All right, so I pull up to this Valvoline. It looks totally normal. The employees are there. I'm just sitting there. They start the oil change. They're all kind of yelling at each other, which I thought was kind of funny at first. <laughs> I'm just there on my phone, minding my own business. They're shouting, but then they start singing. Ed Sheeran. Hell, we don't get paid for this. <laughs> Looking at this video, as you can see, I don't know how to react. I'm just there. I'm like, should I be laughing? Should I be smiling? Thanks so much. So for the last two months, I've been making a short form video every single day. And that's way harder to do than you might think. It's like, it takes so much creative energy. And usually I'm extremely motivated. I love doing what I do. Later last week, I would just, I just didn't feel motivated. I didn't want to make a video. But then I just had to take a step back and think, listen, Nathan, this is the job that you wanted ever since you were five years old. If I went back and told my eight-year-old self that this is my job today and I get to make videos and make a living off of doing what I love, I would have gone crazy. I would have been so excited. And then here I am 
being unmotivated and not wanting to make a video just because I don't feel like it. Instead of thinking, oh, I have to make a video or I have to write this script or I have to have to answer these emails, I get to make this video. I get to make, I get to wake up and do a job that millions of people would love to have. I literally have no excuse to not be motivated, to not want to make a video. It's, just, it's a blessing. So even if you're not a creator and you don't make videos for a living, if you anything you do in life, you can find things to be grateful for and that will give you motivation to do those things, to become excellent at what you do, whatever you're doing. You can find good things about literally anything you do. It's all about a mindset shift. It's all mindset. And that's something I had to learn last week. Dang, bro. That's deep. Sometimes I'll just go on little monologues and talk to the camera just to talk to myself. And I think it's good. And I'm glad that I have a community of people that are willing to listen when I share something like that. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. I hear you guys. I know you guys are asking for longer videos. And next week, you're going to get what you asked for. I'm going to be going to LA next week and going to the Spotify headquarters. We're doing something with Snapchat there. So we're going to be meeting a bunch of other tech creators there. So you guys get to, get to see what that looks like behind the scenes. It's going to be pretty cool. A lot of really fun stuff in next week's vlog. So make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on post notifications so you don't miss that video. I love this community so much, y'all. It's so, it's, uh, it's truly so, such a blessing to have people that support me this much. So again, thank you guys so so much for watching i truly appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video now i have clothes i have clothes now life could be a dream if only all my precious plans would come true if you would let me spend my whole life loving you life could be a dream sweetheart Dear.